What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Rust Was. My name is Miguel, and today we're gonna be painting Orcs and Gretchen. There's not much to explain here. I'm just going to show you how I paint my Orcs and Gretchen using washes, using also the paint schemes from this book over here, The Magnificent Guide by none other than our saint and savior, the greatest painter of Middle Hammer era. I'm talking about Mike McVeigh. Of course, who else could it be? Using the second edition paint jobs from yesteryear, we're gonna get inspired to paint these orcs for our Space Crusades. One thing that irked me and I really didn't understand very well is why this orc is painted red as if it was a goth when the back plate in the plastic miniatures actually tell us a different story. That over there, my friends, is a Bad Moon Orc Glyph. And that's why they are painted now in blue and yellow colors. I'm going to show you all the tricks in the book applied with the new paints from the contrast range. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get to it. I'm going to start by painting the Gretchen. Usually overlooked because they are the cheapest enemies in the game, Gretchen are actually some of the most interesting miniatures in it because of their facial expressions. I said I'm going to show you several secrets using contrast, but in reality I am going to use a quite big variety of paints. Here I'm mixing a Vallejo Green Goblin paint with some medium and some flow enhancer. This is going to create a very nice glaze that I'm gonna use as a pre-wash for the skin. The idea of using a pre-wash is to give the skin a faint green color that doesn't kill all the details. After that I'm going to give a coat of Orc Skin by Army Painter Speed Paints and I add some medium on it so it doesn't reactivate after I paint it on the miniature. Once that dries, I give a glaze with Yannan Yellow from Contrast to give the Gretchen that yellowish cartoony look from the 90s. Hello, Lisa. <laughs> Come here. <coughs> Lisa, say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. If you haven't done it yet, consider subscribing to Rusty Wise and activating notifications so I can feed this cat a little bit of food every month. Nani? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. My Gretchings are big fans of Grog. And I think the best way to actually implement this look is by adding some diluted flesh tears red onto the lips, the nose and the eyes. Let's paint the leather and the weapons in the Gretchen. Snake Bite Leather is a great contrast paint for doing this. Not only is it appropriate because of the name, but it gives you a very good base to start painting metals later. And now I want to give a pre-shade to the rest of the miniature using a mixture of Drakenhof Nightshade, Medium and Flow Enhancer again. Pre-washing or pre-shading adds a lot of contrast between the deep recesses of a miniature and those where the highlights are supposed to be. I'm going to paint everything, not the skin, but everything else is going to be painted. This way I'm going to get a little bit more contrast when I do the next washes. To avoid this wash from pulling at the feet of the miniature, let them dry flat on the table. Now I'm going to prepare the metallic areas of the miniature, which are the barrels of a gun, the shoulder plate, the earrings, the knife hanging at the right side of the Gretchen, and the small rivets in the leather belts. With the pre-wash of Drakenhof Nightshade and a little bit of watered-down Black Templar, I'm going to paint the shoes of these creatures. And now we're gonna begin with the fun part of the miniature, which is painting the clothing. I am going to stick here with the three primary colors, which are blue, red, and yellow. I am using different brands of paint here, but you can use whatever you have nearby, as long as you can make a wash out of it. Remember, anything is a wash if you mix it with medium and a little bit of flow enhancer, like I did before. These Gretchen are freebooters, and that means pirates. And what better way to make those clothes pirate looking than painting some stripes with Lebedon blue and also painting flash kits yellow inside of those lines. Still using the same paint, I'm going to paint the eyes because then they are going to be even more noticeable. An absolutely optional step, but giving highlights sometimes regains the vibrancy of some colors. 
pure white on speed paints will create awesome highlights like this here. And using a couple of yellow dots, I will finish the eyes with Flask Kids Yellow. Next is using Agrax Earthshade to darken the metals and the wood. And with Iron Breaker, we're gonna regain a little bit of highlights in the metallic areas. We are almost there, guys. Let's put some extra details in the miniatures. Nasdrick Yellow for the pauldron to make it look as if it was made of brass. Also a little bit on those earrings and the pommel of the knife. And all that remains is a last touch of pure white to the ears, the cheekbones, the teeth and the eyebrows. After three decades in an old box, the scratching are now properly painted. It's time to move on to the big guys, the orcs. Check out these other videos about my restoration project for this Space Crusade. I'm super excited to paint these orcs, which were the first ones that I ever owned. The whole miniature is going to be pre-washed with Drakenhof Nightshade. The clothes, skin and padded armor of the orc are gonna be painted with the Yandin Yellow. And the remainder of the armor, pants and boots with High Lord Blue. With a slightly watered down Lepidon Blue, we're gonna paint the inside of the pauldrons, the belts, the pants and the boots. And then we're gonna give a dry brush to the weapons with Iron Breaker. Contrast Nast Red Yellow is going to be used to paint the body of the weapon, the rivets and the bracelets. It's time to do a little bit of cleanup using Flask Kids Yellow. It is inevitable that you're gonna paint some of the symbols or some areas with the other colors. But using this we're gonna regain that vibrancy that we lost in the yellow. It is time to reference the GOAT, Mr. Mike McVeigh. Our classic 40k Bad Moon Orcs have this fantastic flaming pattern and we're gonna follow the instructions given by Mr. Mark Bay on his guide. After that I'm going to glaze slightly with Fire Giant Orange from Army Painter. I'm focusing on the base of the flames, the padded armor, the recesses on the sleeves and the grenade in the back. I also give a slight glaze to the eyes and the inside of the mouth. For the skin, I'm going to use Orc Flesh, watered down so it becomes a very, very light glaze. With Army Painter Blood Red, I'm going to paint the glyphs, the belt buckle, the eyes, the inside of the mouth and the lower lip, as well as the grenade in the back. We are very close to the end and we're gonna do the final highlights with Iron Breaker and the weapon and pure white on the edges of the armor, which we painted before with an army painter paint and it's gonna reactivate and become very very light blends. Pure white is also used to highlight the teeth, the eyes and the outside curves of the flames. Another pattern that we can see in the heavy metal guide is this. Paint a white line and then paint small triangles inside of it using red, yellow or both. Then after we finish this, all that remains is making the vases and the miniatures will be finished. These orcs and Gretchen have a very significant place in my memory because they were the first 40k miniatures that I ever owned. After spending who knows how many years inside a cardboard prison, now they are free to roam the Space Hulk and do what greenskins do best, kill space marines. I sincerely hope this video helped you to get your Space Crusade painted. And you can always learn a little bit more by watching this video over here. My name is Miguel, this has been Rust Wash, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Un beso, adios.